Hi, I'm Evan Lewis on Evan Ecent, and this time it's just a very quick video to show you a restoration project I did to restore a set of balance scales that had been used in the gold mine where I volunteer. And uh, these scales had been somewhat abused, and the pieces you can see here at the right hand side with a rectangle that hangs uh, the, the pan, uh, were, they were completely missing, so I made these ones you can see in the picture. Uh, so we'll briefly talk about um, how these were manufactured. The uh, first step was to obtain a piece of rectangular bronze. Well, I had a round bar and I had to make it square. And I did that by placing the round bar sideways in a four-jaw chuck, facing off one side of it, turning it around 180 degrees, facing the other side, turn it around 90 degrees, face the third side and then the fourth side. So then you end up with a square. Then I place it in the milling attachment on the lathe to cut out the rectangular hole in the middle. I used a dial gauge to check that the piece was horizontal so that the rectangular slot I cut would be uh, parallel with the sides. And You can see here the dial gauge is hardly moving as I slide it across the work slowly. The milling tool is an end tool, 6mm in diameter and it's placed in a quarter inch uh, collet chuck. I'm going quite slowly because I've had problems with the work jamming uh, is not all that securely held in this uh, lightweight milling attachment and uh, consequently I'm cutting quite slowly. Also I'm not using a climbing rotation but rather one that's kind of undercutting as it moves along. So in a climbing motion the milling tool is operating like a wheel of a car rolling along the surface you're cutting and it can roll up and drive up over the top of the bump and it's better actually to have it turn in the opposite direction so that it's undercutting the, the slot that you're machining. I cut it in half with a hacksaw so I had two identical pieces and faced those off to get rid of the saw cut marks and to confirm that they're both exactly the same thickness. I then turned the pieces around endways in the four-door chuck to turn the fancy knob on the, on the end, which is just decorative. Then I weighed them and they were exactly the same weight, which was what the objective was in making them both out of one piece. And I then decided to hacksaw a slot in the bottom with a screw through there to hold the pans. I kind of made it up as I went along. And you can see a hole horizontally on this uh, view. Uh, well, that was an um, afterthought as well. Uh, the idea was to cut a groove in the top of the rectangular hole so that the pivot would fit in that little hollow and uh, make it less likely that the piece would jump out. So that was making those two little pieces on the end, and the other part of the project was polishing it. Uh, you can see in some of the photos how bad the corrosion was. It's in an area that gets salt water from the sea on it and dust and was quite badly pitted. But I polished it with wire wool and sometimes 1200 grit emery paper uh, and uh, buffed it with an electric buff and finally uh, finished the polishing with Brasso which is a uh, brass metal polish. The buff I used is a six inch cloth buff or some people call it a mop on a portable drill that does six, no, 3000 RPM and a soft buffing compound. I also found that using a brass wire brush was very effective for cleaning out the knurling on the knobs. And I just had to be very careful not to scratch the front surface of the knob, just go around the knurling edge and did a beautiful job. And we end up with a very nice luster on it. So that was basically the process. And when it was finished on all these different parts, uh, it was sprayed with a lacquer, which is alcohol soluble. And that prevents it from corroding and seems to be quite durable made by a bottle paints in Australia. As a finishing touch, I have one of my one troy ounce uh, bronze coins on the left hand side and a weight which is also one troy ounce on the right hand side, both of which I turned myself from bronze. And that's it.